Do you remember him? That's Kevin Ochieng. He's a straight A student and a first class degree owner, but he's been jobless for a while now. So lately, the Kenya Private Sector Alliance now says it will be identifying and offering jobs to all A students every year. The move comes barely hours after Citizen TV highlighted the plight of Kevin Ochieng, a first class honors graduate who ended up being homeless due to lack of jobs. Makori Ongechi has more. My name is Kevin Ochiang. Uh, this is Madara Slams in Kosovo. It was until Sunday evening when Citizen TV highlighted the unfortunate story of Kevin Ochiang that Kenyans of goodwill touched by the story offered to assist. I successfully got a first class honors. Among them companies, top managers and CEOs. The first class Akshoro Science graduate from the University of Nairobi who spoke to Citizen TV on phone confirmed that he had a busy Monday engaging top brands willing to offer him a job opportunity. On Monday alone, Kevin had attended two interviews at Jami, Bora Bank and Triple OK Advocates. The elated Kevin also confirming that he is scheduled to appear for similar interviews at Vivo Energy. Naiva Supermarket, UAP Old Mucho, among other organizations seeking to tap his knowledge. Migori Governor Kotho Bado has also reached out to Kevin seeking to offer him a job opportunity. <laughs> that a struggling graduate who had almost lost hope after his countless job applications were turned down can in hours tear at an array of job offers, only giving a new perspective of the diluted Kenyan job market. <laughs> Thousands of unemployed graduates went online to narrate and share their experiences. For instance, Mashari Njanja says on his Twitter account, I graduated last year, sent over 500 job applications via email, numerous stomaching the city with no success. He also attached his certificates. Balozi Anthony Mukena on his Twitter account narrates a similar experience. He scored 404 marks in his KCPE and an A- minus in KCSE. Second class honors upper division international relations and diplomacy and after three years he's still jobless. <laughs> there are experiences just to mention but a few painting a picture of hopelessness among graduates while questions abound as to how the jobs that initially seemed to be absent now emerge. The Kenya Private Sector Alliance now says it will be offering jobs to top students. The story of Kevin only representing the story of many other Kenyans who, despite graduating with different degrees from Kenyan campuses, end up living a miserable and harsh life. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.